I think I know I've heard a good sermon when my heart is warmed with grace and when I'm empowered to be about my business in the world. I think, I, I may be wrong about this, but I, I have a feeling at times that we, that we spend too much time talking about all the bad preaching that goes on. I, I'm sure there is bad preaching going on. My own experience teaching students and I, as part of the Doctor of Ministry program at the Lutheran School of Theology at Chicago, and hearing preachers from other denominations. You know, uh, we all kind of grew up in our own little ghettos. I, I, you know, most of my life I thought only Lutherans could possibly know how to preach grace. Well, that's simply not true. <laughs> uh, there are lots of people who know how to, pre how to preach grace. I, I think our problems also, where we worry about preaching, I, I think that uh, they're mo they have more to do with communication technique than they do with content. I, I think most preachers probably have pretty much something pretty good to say on Sunday morning. I, I think so. But if you read it to them, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work very well. That's a problem. Uh, we, we talked about this uh, media world in which we live in, which is so visual also and filled with stories. Um, we, we, we've got to get away from these manuscripts, even if it means to get our sermons down to be five minutes long. I used to, uh, I used to challenge my students in class. So I want you to use as few notes as possible, and because uh, you can't read it. I want you to use as few notes as possible, and if you totally screw up, maybe you tried nothing, and you totally screw up, I'll give you an A, because you're trying to learn something. And it was amazing what they could do. I, I'm serious. It was amazing what they could do. Uh, I heard some people give the first sermon that, you know, I said, well, you don't need my class anymore. You, you know how to do this.